Hey guys, long time no see. <laughs> so I'm coming to y'all. This week here is like the first week of being on lockdown from this little nasty little germ thing that's going around. So of course YouTube with the rest of the world don't like the word. <laughs> So we all know what the deal is right now. We all know what we're going through. We're all going through the same thing, being locked inside, scurrying for groceries, looking for meal ideas to last, especially for kids, especially for your household, and just surviving, you know? Um, because people went crazy the first couple of days of this thing, the stores are scarce. So basically you're getting leftover stuff, you're trying to put meals together, you're trying your best to solve a problem. We take leftovers make new meals with and you do that to save you know you definitely want to save you don't know when the stores are going to stock up with your favorite meals your favorite meats your favorite pro produce whatever it is you just don't know so we're gonna what improvise and so here i am improvising making a meal out of another meal and it's not that oh she can't go for you know to go buy this it's not that it's that there's nothing on the shelf so you have to improvise so I'm gonna show you a meal that I improvise from and you can do this on a normal basis This is not something just because you're locked in that you can't do you can do this on any other You know day or any other time of the year Basically, I am making a chicken salad um, Last Sunday on today is Friday. So last Sunday. I actually cooked chicken um, leg quarters and so I baked them in the oven. We had gravy with them. It was delicious. However, now we're tired of it. We don't, you know, we ate leftovers for maybe two days and or three and we were just tired of it. So I'm going to make it into something else. So I'm going to take and shred. You're gonna see me shredding this chicken apart. I'm gonna be rinsing off some of the gravy from it, you know, kind of making it more like a dry meat versus a wet uh, meat. I'm gonna rinse some of the gravy off, put it in the bowl. You're gonna see me mix all with my condiments. I'll show you each one. And I'm boiling my eggs right now. And that's it. And then you have to put that on the sandwich. So this is something you can do with turkey um, for Thanksgiving. You can do this with anything. So you can have turkey and make it into a salad. You can do leftover rotisserie chicken. You can buy rotisserie chicken from the store, you know, when they do have them. Anything, you know, that you can just shred apart, especially turkey, chicken. I would I don't know about hen. I haven't tried hen, but I'm pretty sure hen is like the mixture of chicken and turkey to me. I feel like it's right in the middle, like not too juicy, but not too dry, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started because I want to show you this meal and see if you like it and just kind of show y'all how we, you know, improvise and make something new out of something old. So let's do this. Alright guys, so I got my chicken right here, my shredded chicken. It's just shredded. Okay, y'all saw me shred it a moment ago. I have my eggs, they're done cooking, so I'm going to get this hot water out of here. Add some cold water and some ice to cool those down and make it peel the peeling easy. Okay, so I've added my ice in there. I'm gonna add some cold water. And I'm just gonna let them sit in the sink until they, they're cool, and then I'm gonna add my condiments. So while the eggs are cooling, I am going to go ahead and add my condiments. I do not measure anything, so I am sorry. Just eyeball everything, okay? So first I have my Miracle Whip. I do not like mayonnaise, so. As I mentioned, I do not measure anything. everywhere 
This is Spicy Brown Mustard, the H-E-B brand, because they were out of the other at first, but now I have my Frenchy Spicy Brown Mustard. So, any Spicy Brown Mustard, if you like just regular mustard, I mean, it will work. It just won't taste as spicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Just make sure you don't get the wrong kind. One time when I was making it, I picked up um, honey mustard and I was quite upset. Next we have our relish, sweet relish. Not the old relish, not nothing else, but good old sweet relish. This is also how I make my potato salad, by the way. <laughs> so I pretty much put the same stuff that I would use in there. I just put enough, I don't like my, um, my chicken salads soupy. Um, you can also add tuna. I meant to say tuna. I make my tuna the same way. I haven't had tuna in a long time. And I don't know why I didn't pick none up. Because that's a non-perishable item. And I didn't even think of tuna. I don't know why I didn't think of tuna. Tuna, you can, you don't need that to be in the refrigerator at all. Tuna is one of those non-perishable items that you always want um, on standby. Because you can open up a can and eat it just like that. Um, yeah, you don't have to cook it or anything, you know. Also for seasoning, you can do whatever season that you feel like you like. I use a little bit of this. Um, normally my chicken is already cooked or boiled with seasoning in it, so I don't add a lot because um, it already has a little flavor. I just add a little, little bit. Just kind of add to all of those condiments that are in there. And my chicken is really shredded. Normally it's not as shredded, but it's really bit more miracle whip so it can be a little thinner. Alrighty, so I am done with the, this part right now. I may add a little bit more once I add my eggs. So let's go ahead and crack these eggs. you add the egg so you can always add more the egg that they want to chop up good. so with this I'm gonna add a more relish okay. a little bit more brown mustard a little bit more Oh, this one's not open yet. Hands are slippery. Oh. 
rice. Let's get that mix. Coming to life with the egg in there and everything. Just keep mixing it all together. I do not add celery, I do not add onions, raw onions, I don't do all of that. However, that is so your preference of how you want it and what you want. Um, my husband does not like Miracle Whip, however, when I make this, he eats it. And he did not know all those for the first couple of years, he did not know that Miracle Whip went into this. And he was like, would you, would you have any? I'm like, but so I finally told him, and he was like, oh my God, you had me eating some Miracle Whip. And I'm like, yep, and you liked it. And guess what, he keeps eating it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit more seasoning. Okay. I'm just looking to see. <coughs> Woo, that season gets to me. Uh -uh. Season gets to me, so I'm just looking to see if I need to add anything else. Like, do I see enough relish? I'm gonna add a little bit more relish. Good job. I like to see that relish popping through. All right, and then all I'm gonna do is get a spoon and taste it. y'all a close-up look here focus in for y'all look at that scrumptious scrumptious look the consistency is right flavor is good and you got a whole new meal we'll eat on this for the next two days hot you're doing so i hope y'all enjoyed uh the video and again y'all be safe um y'all keep healthy keep clean and yeah Here's an improvised meal here. Just improvise, use what you have. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Again, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will holla at y'all later. Levi is still potty training. Um, he's still in diapers.